If ever I had a video, would you dance in it? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sonia Riziki. So for those of you who don't know me, this is actually my very very first YouTube video. I've been thinking of doing this for quite some time and. I'm actually really excited and very very nervous at the same time um, so I'm hoping that you guys would be interested to take this journey with me I'm going to share over, over the, the course of the next few weeks I'm going to share a couple of videos with you guys um, God my battery's dying I'm going to share a couple of videos with you guys mostly DIY videos though I'm planning on mixing it up and doing other things so today's video my first video is a photo booth frame that I did for my niece's birthday. So at the beginning of the video, you're going to see some photos. So the booth that is in those photos is what I'm actually making. Um, if you like the videos, please subscribe. And I hope to hang out with you every week. So let's get started. Let's get started. So for this project, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a stapler, a pair of scissors, some paper glue, a centrum cutter, cello tape, a pencil, and a ruler. For this, be very careful with it because it's very sharp. So try and keep it away from kids. And then you're going to need different kinds of paper. I got all this paper from textbook center. So I don't know if you can get it from other bookshops, but I know for sure you'll get text, uh, you'll get it at textbook center. So I have this red paper. It comes in a packet like this. It has 10 papers inside. I have this really shiny one that also comes in very, very many colors. And then this ones have glitter actually. It's rabbit rough and they have glitter on them. And then I have this really shiny ones very and reflective so basically just any kind of paper you want any kind of paper you think you'll need and then this is gold and it looks brown but it's uh it's gold i'm going to use this as a back background of um the, the word happy i'm going to glue some pink manila paper on this specific gold paper a straw board this is what it looks like it's just a thick board that you're going to use as the frame for your project so the first thing you're going to need to do is to decide how wide you want your board to be your frame to be i wanted my frame to be four inches so i measured four inches and drew lines all around four inches so you need to decide how wide you want it to be and then draw lines that are going to be your guidance when you cut the next thing you're going to do is cover your board i opted to use um, wrapping paper so i'm going to just cut it and cover my board all around while covering the board while you're gluing um your board so you can cover it try be careful not to use so much glue because when you use so much glue it actually tears the paper so just use enough glue it will hold the next thing i did was glue my crowns on the board i cut the crowns from one of the glittery papers there was a gold one so i cut two crowns from that for this next part i took the brown paper i don't know the gold paper i don't know if you can remember i showed you some nice some gold paper and i told you i was going to glue pink manila paper on it so i cut them into these shapes and now i'm going to glue the pink manila paper on the gold paper and then after that i'm going to glue the letters on the pink uh, manila paper so cut your shapes letters and numbers in advance because it takes a while to cut them 
so that when you get back to the pro when you start your project all you need to do is just glue them and you're done once you're done gluing um, your letters you need to join them together using a string i used a thick string so i didn't have to do it to to tie the string twice and then once you've joined them you staple the, the letters on the board <music> Next, I glued my number one on the board on the top right hand side of the board. Then at the bottom of the board, I glued the letters that spelled out Kara's name. <music> For the final step, I cut out circles from different paper and just glued them on the board. Yay! I am finally done. This is what the board looks like. Um, you can see the photos that will come up next on how the, the photos came out. They came out really pretty. So if you like the video, please subscribe and see you next time. Bye-bye.